Is the unnamed tavern named unnamed tavern? Is unnamed tavern named unnamed tavern, or is it a tavern that's not been named? Okay. okay. Yay! Let's go, baby. When the world is news, is new. War crime. Oh, here yep. we go. War crimes. Yeah. Uh, prosecutor seeks to arrest uh, the of Israel and him, Hamas leaders, including Netanyahu. Womp womp. Yeah, the chief prosecutor is entirely appropriate. Right? Is it is the chief it prosecutor of the world's? What? Is it even effective? <laughs> is it effective? I don't know. The chief uh, prosecutor of the world's top war crime court sought arrest warrants on Monday for leaders of Israel and Hamas, including Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, over <laughs> actions taken during their seven-month war. It's a generous to call it seven months, but sure. Well, Netanyahu and his defense minister, yeah, Yoav Gallant? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that eh? right do not face imminent arrest the announcement by the international criminal courts chief prosecutor was a symbolic blow that deepened israel's isolation over the war in gaza isolation huh well, who's been isolating israel international they've been isolation, unpopular at the at the um at the un that's what that means is people i've are heard saying, that they're oh, unpopular yeah. at some campuses in america <laughs> I, mean, I wonder but, why only I mean, the, the, the problem is that the, genocide. there's this, 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 this is not that this, this court has no, no enforcement ability, right? And yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and so it is, it is a symbolic gesture, but it is unlikely that either um, the, you know, the, the leader of the Likud coalition or the leader of Hamas will ever even be brought to trial, let alone, you know, mm. even though they might know where yeah. they are, right? they have no ability to, to do anything other than to say, you know, but, you're bad. I mean, yeah, Lenny, you're, you're absolutely right. Like there's this court, it, I don't want to jump ahead. It's largely symbolic, but one thing is symbols are important, right? Symbols are a big part of the way that humans interact with the world and pointing, using symbols to point out that things that are happening aren't okay and that something needs to be done about that is an important step. And so I do feel the frustration of, okay, but no matter how many arrest warrants the, you know, the court issues, no one's ever going to actually go and arrest Netanyahu over this. And I get that. The same thing is true for a lot of American leaders. George W. Bush should absolutely be in a jail cell rotting for the rest of whatever time he has left. But that the symbol, the symbolic gesture was made is still important because it helps bring the importance of that matter to the forefront of people's minds it's, in a way that might not otherwise have happened. It's hmm. a way to send a message to the world that this is wrong and you sh and if you want to be on the right side of the history, you should be protesting this. That's what it is about. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. Symbolic, I, no I, I don't know. There have effective? been more criminals who have been arrested and dealt with in the past, though. It's not impossible. It's yeah, but it's likely. because they stepped foot in, in countries they just shouldn't have gone to. Netanyahu's not that dumb. Yeah. He's not, not well, going to show I mean, up people, in, like, the uh, I don't, I, I don't like using that he's not that dumb as an argument because, I don't know, man, I've seen people do some real dumb things if they think they can get away with it. So, I mean, I mean maybe, he's, right, maybe, he, maybe he won't as of right now because of X, Y, and Z, but if, like, if somebody does go the wrong direction, and maybe it won't be Netanyahu, maybe it'll be the guy after him or the guy after that. Yeah. Right? But again, I think, you know, the leader of Hamas is, is unlikely to, to face consequences um, for actions as, as well. Um, but as you see, that the Hamas leadership and the Likud uh, coalition are essentially both I think um, culpable for for the the crimes that are being committed in that region, and oh yeah, and yet that there's not really any way to bring those people into a to, to Out account. Out of curiosity, um, this is a this is just a side question um, because I'm not very good with I don't know history very well. So um, Russia did do the war crimes during World War II, right? 
I mean, everyone they did were the like, war crimes during World War well, II. Well, everybody was, was doing the war crimes, right? Like, but yeah. the only people who what anything was enforced against was the losers, right? Yeah, that's. Yes. I mean, that's war. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, if Hamas loses, then I guess it's very much more likely that they would face some kind I... of reparations. But I don't know what you. Uh. Well, here's the thing. I think that the the win scenario that it, that the Israeli leadership is currently envisioning is not a scenario in which there is a Hamas to have a leader to present to any international court. Oh, sure. Yeah. It seems very clear that their version of a win scenario is that mm -hmm. uh, the West Bank simply not have any Arabs left, period. Right. Yeah. Because this is an ethnic cleansing. Their goal is to get rid of all of the Arabs from the West Bank yep. because they want it to be their land. In fact, you can find Israeli leadership like in both government as well as various religious leaders of hardline right-wing uh, Jewish groups saying as much without couching in any kind of euphemisms or coded language. So You can find them saying things like the Arab is a son of a bitch and this land is ours and we're going to get rid of all of them. Like, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, thanks for coming out and saying it, I guess. So, I mean, if I'm yeah. understanding this correctly, then um the only the only way anybody could like face proper charges in very big quotes that I'm putting this is if the CIA involves itself because I mean, I've seen this, I've seen reports of the CIA doing that kind of shit where they're like, "You know what? We this is going too far." We don't like Netanyahu anymore, so we're going to replace him with somebody else. I mean, I, I guess mean, I think, that could happen. I don't think it would. Yeah, I think you're, if, if, for example, something happened to Iran and they decided to turn over the leader Hamas for, for some, some benefit. Mm -hmm. right? Similarly, if, if the government, current coalition government in, uh, in Likud and, and their friends are brought down, um, the opposition could um, uh, bring up uh, you know, on charges. Now, he's one of the things that, that he's been doing is staying in office so he can't be charged because there's a number of other crimes within Israel that people have charged him with that he's managed yeah. to essentially avoid. Dodge. Um, in fact, his attempt, his coalition attempt to essentially um, allow the government to overrule the courts is in part trying to get him to, quote, the equivalent of there's... pardon himself, right? Something that's interesting um, so, in here as well, because yeah. it says um, a panel of three judges will decide whether or not to issue the arrest warrants and allow the case to proceed. The judges typically take two months to make such a decision. Israel is not a member of the court, so even if the arrest warrants are issued, Netanyahu and Gallant do not face any immediate risk of prosecution. But the threat yeah. of arrest could make it difficult for the Israeli leaders to travel abroad, and that's kind of interesting to me. Yeah. Yeah. But they it's don't not like an immediate to. trial or, or whatever. Well, yeah. well, so with war comes need for resources post-war. So, and yeah, but that they don't need personally trade, have to go. Trade deals. Maybe, maybe they there's like a lot like, of... They can send diplomats. I mean, true, well, but... Uh, it's still, I don't know, that does seem like really, li that sounds limiting to me. It seems limiting to me. It maybe, is. Maybe I'm... The thing is. is that if they're sending diplomats is, in this situation, will not work for for Israel. No, it won't. So the their leader has to go in the other territories to get anything if they need from other countries. Because diplomats, in, in Israel's case, I don't know if diplomats are going to be effective in any way possible. I don't think so because people are like we don't trust you we are not going to talk to your representative because we don't know what the fuck you're up to back home we don't know so we want to talk to you not your representative that's the i that's the idea and that's why the, those diplomats won't be effective so the was leader netanyahu, has to go. was netanyahu and israel invited to the paris accord were they there um no i think that the the the, the paris accords i thought were wasn't that Rabin, or am I am I misheard? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the Oslo Accords. I'm sorry, Oslo. Oh uh, yeah, and I'm trying. I'm just trying to remember because that would that would ascent, ostensibly prevent Israel from doing a lot of like country leader handshaking. I was thinking about, right. 
but 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 the but the, the Paris Accords is a climate thing. Oslo Accords was a was a um, an attempt to try to build a two state solution, a state for Palestine and a state for Israel with 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 the you know the, mm-hmm. the, the two governments in the current Palestinian Authority that's mostly centered on the West Bank being the one that would be operating, and they'd have this sort of a power sharing relationship in in disputed territories, but. But there are member, many people, both in uh, the Palestinian organization and in um, the Knesset, that were opposed to to this sort of a peace plan. Um, in fact, the rely, rise of Hamas and the assassination of Palestinian uh, uh, leadership in the Gaza was one of the attempts to try to stop the Palestinian Authority from negotiating with Israel. Furthermore, people like Rabin were assassinated by a right-wing zealot in Israel um, for doing similar things. And the result is you have, and, and to make it worse, essentially both areas, but the Gaza as well as the Knesset, has been run by the extremists who blocked the ability to get a two-state solution into place. Well, there's also like I mean, besides like the the interworking politics that are problematic and very old, um, and doesn't excuse a lot of what's gone on, regardless of who you want to talk about. The the limiting of a leading country, like a major leading country's politician, from being able to participate in discussions and having to send like somebody el- a representative instead is kind of a big deal is that not a big deal like i get that they could like show up on zoom or whatever but be, it, it being in a position where like for example let's pretend that like biden was like be, being smacked on the wrist and being like you're not allowed to blah 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 it means that he can't travel to any other country to engage with anybody so like if it was trump he wouldn't have been able to go and and hang out with putin to do their discussions if it was if it was trudeau he wouldn't have been able to go to china and have conversations with uh, yeah King, and, right and leader leader moss and the current other is prime minister um don't really in some ways care what the world thinks of them they can they are they're operating well, it's, um in it, their it, own in their own sphere of influence yes it's inconvenience yes. But, well it's not but, about the convenience it's about like if you want you you need international support israel requires international support for what they're doing and so does, right? and so does well Hamas, no they right? require American sure but support. we're talking like like the P- palestine doesn't have fucking dick shit power to do anything anyway right now so even if they were going to show up to the u.n to the debate anything nobody's they don't have any fucking pull israel has a lot of pull for a lot of countries particularly america so limiting the leader is going to like this particular it's not a sanction but this particular position for them to be in is going to greatly affect israel more than it's going to affect palestine am i wrong about that but but look at you look at you putin is in right war criminal okay but but Russian's ambassadors operate, and and they they are working with a number of countries and trading a number of countries. Similar thing. Um, uh, you know, yeah, like Indian leadership. Yeah, but it was a big deal that Russia wasn't going to the the G four summit. Like that was a big deal, and the fact that he can't show up and intimidate or negotiate or mess with anything on his own, it like that matters. Because same with the Paris Accord. Oh, yeah. right? I, 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 I'm not saying that sanctions don't 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 hurt. <clears throat> But, but the ability of a leader to go forward and to send other people there, um, look at what Putin's doing, right? People can't. I also him. think that it comes off as like a, it is like a besides it being like symbolic, but it also comes off as like a, like a coward thing too to me, where it's like, oh, now yeah, this, it's like this brushing guy, your hands off. This guy can't yeah. show up, and he doesn't have the yeah. balls to show up because he knows he's going to get arrested. It, neither the leader Hamas nor the leader of the Israeli Prime Minister would dare show up in a place where they'd be held accountable. And both are going to hide for, for you know, foreseeable future. Unless, of course, there's some, what might happen in the future, in theory, is someone decides to have some peace accord and some settlement where they go and say, all those crimes, we'll just forgive those things, pretend they don't happen, and we'll have this. But you have to come to the table as part of, a, like, negotiations. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, that might, that might I be think the so. outcome... 
And, like, maybe that's part of, like, their play here, where they're like, we're gonna smack you on the wrist, and then if you decide to come to the table, we can use that as a negotiating chip. And sure. also, yeah. like, I, I think so, if, if, if you're leader of the country, like, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm sorry, but um, leader of Israel and Hamas, like, if they are not welcome in, like, a way, like, you know, you land on our soil, there will be repercussions. Why would the diplomats be welcome yeah and and well, you know putin has found yeah, yeah. situations where where you know even even uh, a country like south africa where they were somewhat somewhat friendly to russia was saying you know it'd be very difficult if putin showed up here because someone could grab and arrest him and we'd be hard pressed to try to stop that right so mm. oh, putin no. ends up avoiding going to places other than places like north korea or China, or, 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 or other pretty partners, like mm -hmm. um, Belarus and that sort of thing. War crimes are bad, MK. I say as a Canadian. Listen, we don't do war <laughs> crimes. We just invent them. Okay. Yes. They're, we when we do them, they aren't crimes yet. <laughs> That's how it works. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Not wrong. Not wrong. Not good, but not wrong. Okay, so next um next up on the list, unless anybody else has anything on this one. Oh, actually, one other thing on this one before we move on. The American government has responded to this, and and like sl like the the Biden administration has slammed this decision because. And one of the things that they said was, "But if they do this to Israel, they could charge us with war crimes." And everybody collectively said, "Good." Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it's supposed to work. There's a whole I haven't lot of seen... Americans. Yeah, there's a whole lot of Americans who deserve to be charged with war crimes. I have not. I, that was them. something. That is the most like bipartisan answer I have seen from every people on the left, people on the right, people on the center, people who are losing their <laughs> minds, people who are just very sad right now. All in America collectively went, "Yes, we want that." If <laughs> please hold our yeah. please hold our but, government accountable but... for us. But but sadly again I I and, 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 and I'm I hate to be a bearer of bad news. Um, these sort of international courts and so forth are mm -hmm. rarely effective. They are often selective in yeah. who they get, and oh, yeah. it's only in cases where somebody's been, essentially been defeated and the entity that's defeated has turned over the criminals yeah. that you they even get an attempt for prosecution. Or not prosecution, a, a, a trial. 